You're on the number one. Susan and City Company B. Hello, ladies. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. So tell me, ladies. It's Freestyle Music, Company B. You ladies have been around for a long time. Still young. Tell me, how'd you start? How'd you get started? Started, it was so long ago. <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was 1985 when I met um, Ish and Lori. And uh, they were looking for some backup dancers for the group, for, for Ish, because he sang in the group called Foxy, which had a big hit called Get Off. So he was looking for some backup dancers and I happened to be in the right place in the right time. So we started backup dancing for him. So that's how we got it started into the music business. Okay. As, as far as company B, every time we did shows with him, the people would go crazy for us. And they were like, Oh, we love you. We love you. And he's like, maybe I should start a group with the girls. And that's how he created company B. Now what does company B stand for? <laughs> Well, he got that from the Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy from Company B. Oh, okay. okay. That's where he got the name from, yes. Very nice, very nice. Is that where you get your um, outfits from? Our outfits? Some of our outfits are military and some are not. Okay. So, like, um, the ones you wear, like, on the, on the flyer that we made, those outfits, they're like, are they pretty much like the old school Bugle Company B thing? No, those were actually, those were uh, new outfits. They were more psychedelic outfits that we got for um, for that. It's for a new song that we have coming out called Everybody. Ah, uh, okay. So what's, um? so I know you you guys uh, switched up um, uh, performers in the group. So who are the original members? I'm original. Um, Charlotte McKinnon. And Lori Ledesma, which was Ish's wife. Okay. And who, and you, are you the lead singer from the group? I'm the lead singer now, yes. Okay. And what do you got new coming for 2021? We have a Spanglish song coming out called Mala. And what's that song about? It's about um, dancing, about having a good time. Okay, is you this, know? you still consider it freestyle or dance, club, pop? No, it's it's more of a dance song. It's more of a dance than freestyle. Da- dance, pop, yeah. Okay, because um, when you, when you ladies pop up on the radio, you pop up in like any station that plays everything. Because I know you're a freestyle group, but you, I play you on a pop station, Company B comes on. What do you think about that where you stick out more than just freestyle where you, you play, you stick out in genre like pop, dance? We love that. We love that we can be versatile and go to any genre. And that's what we're hoping to do with the new song that we have coming out. That's great because every time I'm in the car, I'm listening on the radio, Company B pops up. And it could be on a station that doesn't play freestyle, which is pretty cool. Even my kids growing up, they, they heard your music in the car when I'm driving. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they'll even like, they'll post a, they'll post like a, a video on, on the Facebook and they'll tag and say, Dad, remember this? You used to play this in the car every time you drove around because that's all you played was freestyle. Oh, that's so sweet. My daughter listens to freestyle as well and she's uh, 19. Uh, okay. My, my daughter loves it the most out of all of them. But yeah, she, she's a fan of it as well. But, you know, they grew up on it. They'll call me and say, yo, I'm cleaning the house listening to Freestyle. What are you listening to? Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's, it's good. It's still good music. It never dies. No. So with your new album, you're going to have a full album coming out for 2021? That's what we're planning on, yes. How about, how about show-wise? Show-wise, um, we're, well, we're in the studio uh, as we speak. And in the month of April, we're trying to put out the video for the new song. And uh, we plan to go out of the country that was put on hold because of COVID. But, you know, hopefully things go well and we'll be back out. So if, if COVID wasn't to happen, which it did, but if it did it, um, you would have had an album before that? 
or was this like an inspiration to, to work on it? I, the work on it, well, because one of the girls moved further away, so that put a halt on it also. She moved like three hours away. And then um, with my underlying conditions, I can't really be around too many people. And I haven't gotten the shot yet, so... You know, we're just trying to stay safe because I, my mom stays with me and she's 90 years old. So I have to look out for her first. Mm -hmm. So um, I know I, I see you on Facebook. You do a lot of aerobics or exercise uh, lives. Want to talk about that? Yes, I'm with another a friend of mine. Her name is Mirage. She has a Just Hip Hop studio. So we decided since things were, you know, dead, we wanted to create something for, you know, people on Facebook because everybody's on it. Oh, I'm getting fat. I'm gaining all this weight. And we're both personal trainers. So we decided to put S&M together, Inspire, which is her name and my name. Mm -hmm. And we do aerobics and we do, um, right now we're doing chair exercises because we've got a lot of people on TikTok because we have a page on TikTok and we have over 50,000 followers and they love when we go live and do um latin freestyle caribbean and old school and we also have a cooking show that comes on teaches you how to eat healthy i gotta check that out i really do i got like what do you make with your healthy cooking uh we've done cauliflower a pizza you know cauliflower rice um, we do a lot of quinoa which is you know a lot better healthier full of proteins and stuff like that instead of meat. Um, Mirage is trying to get me to go vegan, which, you know, I'm like, no, I love meat too much. But, you know, I'm trying to give it up for two weeks and see what happens. Yeah, that won't happen with me. Now, when you do the cauliflower rice, do you do, you do it with, like, rice and beans? Like, that combination? Yes. Uh, I make it, I make it um, with, like, garlic, onions... And then I'll have some beans on the side and a piece of chicken, something like that. And we've made um, like patties, you know, with the quinoa and the uh, mushrooms, like patties, like hamburgers, but they're not hamburgers mm -hmm. with the black, black bean patties. Oh, they're really good. So, yeah, stuff like that. You know, you want to stay healthy. And as you get older, things start happening and things stop working. So... We started to eat a lot healthier here at my house, you know. Right. So with um, with your with the one class, your sitting down class, exercise class, is it easier for you now to like do dance choreography for your music and your videos when you, when you start start back up again? Oh yeah, because you know you're continuing to work out and you know stay healthy and keep those bones moving. <laughs> yeah. Like, cause you, so you won't get tired out, like, dancing and singing at the same time? Exactly. I mean, I work out. I walk, even if I don't work out, I walk every day, you know, morning and night, just to stay fit, you know. Yeah, I hear you. That's Over here in, in New York, it's hard to do during the winter because of the snow, and it's cold. Nobody wants to walk outside, but you're in Florida, ain't you? Yeah, but I mean, even inside, you can do your little workouts. You know, you have the bands that you can do. You have the weights. I tell people, get a can of beans and lift them, you know. It's any, you can use anything in your house. You can use a towel to stretch. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I, I guess I'm going to have to start watching your videos, your lives when you're on. <laughs> yeah, because my thing is, I'm on the radio. I go to work and trying to fit. You know, the, the exercising, I do a lot of walking at work, so which helps a lot. And I try to walk, so by the time I get home, I just want to just crash. But yes, I, have to. Yeah, but I don't mind walking. That, that's kind of cool. I even got a treadmill, and I be rocking that sometimes while that's I'm listening great. to freestyle. Great. Freestyle. So what, when, when is your first single going to be coming out? It's supposed to come out in... Um, next month in april we're trying to get the video and the single to come out at the same time okay where are you gonna have where are you gonna be able because we don't mtv is not as great as it used to be to get videos music video plays where are you planning on having your music videos aired well we have a facebook we do it for my facebook the last one we did because we'd had a song called love that we put out last year mm -hmm. And my daughter wrote that song. So we put that out last year. We had a big thing at my house. And 
Uh, we put everything we do on YouTube. We have our own YouTube channel, Company B Music. So we put all our videos there and we have our friends to share them to other people. Uh, okay, yeah. And I do have that song, too, that was sent to me. And uh, we should be playing that after after the um, interview because i like to check that out, especially if you said your daughter wrote it. What, in, what inspired her to write it? Well, I asked her, I said, write something about love. You know, we need more love today. You know, it's, this world is crazy. We need more love, more happiness. Back to the feel-good days of good music when it was talking about love and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, because a lot of freestyles, the majority is about love. It's about it's a love story, heartbreaking. And wh- what is your plan for the for the new album? The same thing, love or other types of uh, storyline? Yes, love, love, dance. Um, we did a song with Breakwell called um, it was a remake of a the uh, Supreme song, and we did the uh, ad libs for him. Mm-hmm. Have you thought about doing like um, salsa merengue type of music? Well, the song we have coming out is more of reggaeton. Oh, okay. So we'll see. You know, we're, we're, we're willing to try something different, you know. I mean, freestyle is always going to be our first love, but, you know, sometimes you got to think out of the box. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Some Sometimes different is good, but, hey, your company, B, I know you can rock it. I know you can rock it. Thank you. So, um... Anything else you want to like give a shout out? Any uh, social media you can be reached on, reached out to if people want to follow you and keep up with what you're doing? Company B Music on Instagram, Company B Music on Twitter, Company B Music on YouTube, and Company B Music on TikTok. So tell me, what do you like about being on TikTok? You get a lot of people viewing you, especially when you're doing your lives, and you get a lot of fans talking to you. You like it? Well, well, TikTok Live, Company B doesn't have enough followers as of yet, but on the s and page that we have, um, we do have a lot of followers. And on our shows on Friday when we do our workouts, we do freestyle and old school, and we have a lot of people come on asking for requests for us to put on certain songs and stuff like that. We love it. We enjoy it. It's, it's sort of like, you know, going out to perform, except you don't see the people. You're just performing in front of a camera, and that's it. Yeah, that's true, but we're going to help you out to get you, um, like, followers so you can go live. Because once you go live on TikTok, it's a wrap. Everybody will be following you. And they interact, you know, and we love that, you know. Because, I mean, we've gotten some people from you guys already that's coming over to our page, you know, showing us love, saying we, we love you, we love your music. You know, thank you for coming to TikTok. So, yeah. I mean, if the girls lived a little closer, we would do more stuff on TikTok, but it's hard right now. So hopefully when everything opens back up, we can do a lot more. Oh, yeah. You'll get a lot of you'll get a lot of viewers and they'll be very appreciative when, when you come on because they'll try to reach out to you, get your attention while you're on the live. You have, And you have, you'll be reading, reading everything as it goes up and up and try to read everything that everybody writes. It's kind of hard. And I know you would try to you know answer everybody's question or give them a shout out but it's fun though when they're watching you you know being live on tiktok the only thing different with that in facebook you know when you're live on facebook you can click on them and you can see a person that's talking to you and stuff like that that's the only difference really you can do it on tiktok too depending if they got a picture on their profile that's oh i i didn't know that yeah it's oh. like like if you go to another, like, I'll be live on TikTok after we're done. You can go and then you, when you see the names, just click on the name and then um, their profile will pop up and then you can see who they are, like, face-wise. Okay. Yeah. It, it's, it's pretty cool, though, with the follows I got. And I, when I'm DJing on TikTok, everybody comes in. They're having a good time. They, they do their own chit-chat with one another. It, it, it's great. And, You'll love it. So we, we got to get you that over a thousand followers so you can go live. Okay, that'll be great. I also wanted to tell you, um, we do have a new song coming out. Hopefully, also uh, maybe in April, May. It's through. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard Rocky Jones. He's out of Chicago. Okay. He does great tracks. So um, he's with DJ International in Chicago. So we're excited about that. 
And we got that through um, Ronald Barcy, which, you know, he's a good guy in New York also. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm sorry City couldn't make it. She was on. I don't know what happened. And I wanted to call her back and get her back on. Well, next time, we can, if you can get the rest of the crew together, we can do this all over again. Yes. So they, so you won't have to do all the work. They can put in some work, too, on the radio. Yeah, CD and Dahlia, they're, they're always there. Unfortunately, you know, she had got called into work today, so. Yeah, it happens, it happens. So anybody you want to give a shout-out to before we go? Um, Shout-out to our manager, Roy B., you know. Shout out to the girls. They, I don't know what happened to CD and um, Dahlia. You know, we're gonna be back together soon, hitting the road. Cause we were supposed to, when it, it COVID came, we were supposed to be in California. We had a show out in California. We had to cancel that. Oh, that's too bad. Well, hopefully, when all this is over, you guys can get back into the groove and do it all over again. Yes, definitely. And shout out to all the fans. We love you guys. Thank you for supporting Company B all these years. Make sure you follow Company B on TikTok so they can go live and do their thing. You guys will enjoy them. Uh, and you got a Facebook page, Tambien? Yes. Okay. Company B Music also. All right, that's Company Music on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you follow. Oh, and YouTube, correct? YouTube, correct, yes. All right, I want to thank you. Susan, for being on the show, we're going to play your song Love Mix, the one that your daughter wrote, okay. which, wishing you all the best. Thank you again. Thank Company you B, y'all. Me. All right, until the next one. Okay. Take care, guys.